It brings back a lot, a lot of good memories, especially looking back on my first website with them. What a Bayfan Kitty here with the Toll of Visuals. Thank you for tuning in. For those who don't know me, I run this YouTube channel where we talk about gear and tutorial stuff and sometimes travel here and there. And I also run a production company here in San Francisco. And today I'm gonna be redoing my website, which is something very, very important to showcase to potential clients and also just collect your work for memories. So in the future, you can see what you accomplished. And I think that's very, very important. But I'm gonna be using Wix.com, which is something I've actually been using for years, even my first portfolio, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. And it brings back a lot of good memories, let's just say that, as well as one of my free hobby websites that you don't even probably know about. First, let me show you my original Atola Visuals website. Some of you have stopped by and said hello on it. As you can see, it's a one scrolly page design, but it makes it really easy if you're just trying to see all the information in one place and don't have to click through a bunch of different pages. For my recent work, I only have six examples and these are mostly all client work. And then if you wanna see all my videos, there's this tiny little thing here, which will bring you to my YouTube. Down below, I have some photography work, my favorite photos. I think they look really nice. I'm actually gonna keep this gallery for my next website. A jellyfish strip here because Atola is a jellyfish, for those who don't know. And if you wanna learn more, you can read my about section. As you can see, it needs a little bit of a retouch and some updating, especially now because I do brand deals for YouTube, for instance. And I also wanna incorporate more of my newer work and showcase, because I am a hybrid shooter, I wanna showcase video and photography for one client. So in the future, I could upsell photography or upsell video. Business tips, people, business tips. I'm here all day. All right. For my hobby website, I actually made this Kokodama balls with a template on Wix. And this is actually free. See, Kokodamas, Kokodama plants, Kokodama books. And I actually shot a YouTube on how to make your own Kokodamas if you're interested. And also follow me on Instagram, Kokodama balls. I spent maybe five hours creating this website in total. But one more website I made from Wix, Kittyography. Dot com. I used to shoot a lot of live events, music festivals. Oh, it was good times. I got paid to party and listen to jams. And I got to be in the trenches, on stage, backstage. Like, I was living my best life during this time. My favorite part is the photos, though, because I was all about the saturation back then. You don't even know if you see my Instagram now, it's total opposite vibes. Yeah, as you can see, there's many different ways to display your work. So if you wanna get creative and maybe revamp your portfolio or maybe make your first one, check the link in the description box below for Wix and have fun. Yumi, I see you, I see you, little boop boop. First, when you're starting off your Wix site, you probably wanna start off with a template. Funny thing is my Tola website, I got it from, I believe it was a car mechanic site, which is really funny because I just customized the crap out of it that you wouldn't even be able to recognize it at this point. After you've chosen your template, you're gonna have this little editor platform interface here. So on the side here, you'll have all your tools. Let me break it down for you real quick. Right here, you're gonna have the menus and pages, which will show all your pages and sub pages in order. And this kind of coordinates with this. So for instance, my work that you can see here, there's gonna be a drop down for all my sub pages, which is all of these. This one is hidden because I have a button that actually links directly to that page. So I don't need it on my menu. Moving on, we have backgrounds. Patterns and videos and photography for days. Some of these are so beautiful, I wish I created them. <laughs> but for me, as you can see, I mostly use solid colors, so I'll just pick a blue or white. Next, this button is my favorite because this is where all the creative stuff happens. You have your text, you can upload your own images, gallery, this one's important for photographers out there. This is where you're gonna be spending the most amount of time picking how to organize your stuff. There's, there's so many choices. There's grids, 
There's thumbnails. This is what I had for my kitty site, if you can remember. Next up is the vector art, where you want to put icons or stickers to add to your site to add a little bit more design flair. I use the icons myself down here in my services section. It makes it really easy to link to anything. Video, okay, if you're watching this, you're probably a video person like myself, so you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna spend some time in this area. For me, all my videos are on YouTube, so all I do, honestly, is just click and drag and then change the video and put whatever YouTube video you wanna add there. You could also add a Vimeo, Facebook video if you want, or upload it directly to the site. For instance, I use this video upload for my Instagram ads page right here because I noticed when I use my YouTube videos, it's not as seamless as if I used their upload feature. Look it, can you tell? You don't know where the end is and where the beginning is. Before you begin your website, you kind of got to know what your theme is and your colors and kind of what your goal is at the end of the day. So for me, my theme, I wanted to make it visual with some more design elements than I had from my last website. I also wanted to add more text because SEO purposes. I didn't know that back then, but as you can see, there's a lot more text in this one. It's also very descriptive and people can learn a lot more. For colors, I really like white, navy blue, and gold. It's my company colors and it's very elegant and classy to me. My goal for the website, for anyone who adventures through it, is gonna know exactly who we are, what we provide, how we will work together, and that we are organized and professional as well. And that all gets conveyed with this first impression, so take it very seriously. First off, we're gonna go through the galleries. This one right here is one of my galleries. To change images, you could just click here. You can move stuff around, you could add images. Although my library is a mess right now, you could also add folders and organize it that way. As you can see, my IG ads, my client stuff, products, etc., etc. And to add anything, you just click and add to gallery. You could also crop, edit, adjust, and create videos if you want to make a slideshow. You could also change the settings and how they open up as well. You can either make it have nothing happen, a link opens. I just make them pop up so you can see a better view of it. And then layouts, you can get all types of crazy with the layouts as well. For instance, change the spacing. Can you see that? Can you see? This one that I created for my homepage, I used the masonry. I think that's how you say it, Pro Gallery. I also use this on my original Atola Visuals website as well. When you head over to these subcategories, I have a photo gallery here as well, which is the accordion template. I just liked how it looked together and it was very clean and also just like one little section. So it put all those together. And then if people wanna click on it, they could also view it bigger as well. So when you preview the accordion style, you could just click on it here and then people could sift through it this way. But if you don't want the white background, I could also show you how to change that as well. You'll click on that, go to settings, and then when you get to design and customize expand mode, you can see that you could change the background color to black. And then make sure the icons are something contrasty like white. For video, just like galleries, they have some pre-made templates as well. So head over to video and look. There's choices if you have multiple video content and you wanna organize it in a better way. For me, I'm basic, so I just clicked and dragged the YouTube video and changed the video like so. Boom. You could also autoplay it or play it in a loop if you want, but I turned those off. So the first thing you see is my reel here, what our company name is, our social buttons, a little blip, and then a button to our about me section. 
When you scroll down, you'll have the clients that we work with, which I think is pretty important. Thanks to whoever suggested it from my feedback on Instagram stories. So for me, my important categories, things I specialize in and I enjoy doing are company marketing, event coverage, and my Instagram slash Facebook ads. And then here I have the behind the scenes because I just, I, don't know, I love shooting and showing behind the scenes because I feel like it shows a potential client how they're gonna work with you and what your personality is, if you're organized, if you're together, and what type of gear you use as well. So client stuff and my YouTube stuff because I have a little bit of both in there. And then for brand deals, I have my product reviews, tutorials, and things that I'm featured in. First of all, before I dive into each subpage, I'm gonna show you how I created these little categories that also link to them as well. Once you have one, you could duplicate it and it becomes very easy. For instance, if I wanted to make another one of these and I know it's a square, exactly like that, I just right click and duplicate and boom. There's another one, I could change the image and there, it's done. It has the same filter on it, the same crop shape and everything. But I'm gonna show you how I did it from scratch first. In order to get the images on there, go to add images, my image uploads. Which one should we pick? Let's just pick Yumi for fun. So add to page. She's ginormous, clearly it's gonna be a problem. So just click and drag it down to make it a little bit more manageable. The first thing I did was crop it because I knew I wanted them in the little square shapes. If you click this once, it turns into a square automatically. And I just positioned her like that. And then you also zoom in and zoom out. We're gonna leave it like that and apply. And as you can see, this is a lot brighter than this. And I want people to be able to read the words that are on each image here. So to darken it, I went to filters and darken, exit out of that. And then I wanted this to link to another sub page. To link things, you already see it. It's this link button here. You can link to a new website address, a page or an anchor. We're gonna do a page. This drop down menu will show all your pages. So for instance, if I was linking this to event coverage, I would click event coverage, current window, and done. And pick one of these and drag it. We're gonna have to work this a little bit. So edit text. First of all, we're gonna have to make it visible. This is my color palette, by the way. You could also change your color palettes Yes, I know, but let's leave it alone before it messes up everything. <laughs> and we're gonna stick to this kind of like off-white color. Done. And the font I'm using is this Futura. Futura? You change the size. Let's make it down there and just for ease, I'm gonna put it in the middle. And when you're lining stuff up, it's really easy because do you see? It tells you where the center is of the image. If you have it, for instance, in the middle of this page, it'll show you the center of the page there. So lining stuff up is really, really easy to do. Let's dive into my sub pages now. You've seen a little bit of it, but I'm gonna show you again. <laughs> My sub page right here is company marketing. I organized it based on my clients. Zeus, for instance, is a company that we work with quite often and for a while. So I put a little blip about who they are and what we've done for them, as well as added one of my videos and then photography down here as well. And for me, because I'm a hybrid shooter, I want to showcase what I can offer a client. So that's why I put my video and photography under the same section. Also, it's really great because the website auto saves if you accidentally refresh or your computer <laughs> goes down for whatever reason, it'll most likely have the last version saved, but definitely save in between just in case, because you never know. And then my Instagram, Facebook isn't so much organized based on clients, but how I can make the videos for them. For instance, I organize it by 15 seconds, four by five ratio, which is good for Instagram and other social medias that, <laughs> social medias 
and other social medias that really optimize this ratio, as well as a 16 by nine example. And then I have my photographs and my cinemagraphs because those are just so fun to make. I hope more clients will want those as well. My YouTube stuff, I kept it really simple. I organized it based on camera brands and just put the video underneath. Three for each sub page and that's it. Same with my tutorials. And then my last sub page, I really like this one. I don't know, it's something I've always wanted to do for my old website, but now that I can finally have the time and sit and redo this one, I added a page for this as well. So this is all the stuff that I'm featured in that's not exactly on my YouTube page, but someone else's for a company I've worked for, et cetera, et cetera. First is this really dope urban armor gear video. If you haven't seen it, it makes me look so cool, cooler than I really am. So this one's pretty cool. I did a little Adobe thing at NAB, and this is actually a tweet straight from Twitter that I embedded with this HTML. Lassie is someone I love working with. We've done a lot together. They did this featured video, so I put that up there. You can learn a lot about me from there. As well as this cool little section. I love this. It makes me really happy because people on Instagram will actually send me this stuff and I don't even know sometimes where my face is. So for instance, I'm on Amazon for the DJI Copilot. Interesting. And then I'm also at B&H. Also a tip when designing your website, make sure you know what it's gonna look like on a mobile phone because a lot of people are on their phones nowadays and check things through there. So make sure right over here, switch to mobile, that you edit that as well. I'm pretty proud of it. I haven't actually published it yet. I wanted to do it on camera. It's This is like something I've been working on for months on and off since January of this year and it is now August, people. So should we go live with it? I'm excited. Three, two, one. It's happening. Your site is published and is live online. Congratulations. If you want to check out my website, it'll be atolavisuals.com. Let me know in the comments below what you do. Maybe you're an illustrator, a photographer, a videographer, and put your links in the comments below. Thank you for coming on my website journey with me today. Hopefully you learned something here. Find my IG because I post it on the daily. Hopefully you can visit my website. And until next time, you do you fam, and I'll see you when I see you. Mm, done. Arigatou gozaimasu. Oyasuminasai. <laughs>